Legendary South African jazz star and musician Jonas Kwanga has died. Hello everybody, welcome to What's Popping. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below and do like the video. The sad news was confirmed in a tweet by South African President Sarah Ramaphosa. He wrote and I quote, A giant of our revolutionary revolutionary cultural movement and our democratic creative industries has been called to rest. The trombone that boomed with boldness and bravery and equally warmed our hearts with mellow melody has lost its life force. Jonas Gonga ascends to our great orchestra of musical ancestors whose creative genius and dedication to the freedom of all South Africans inspired millions in our country and mobilized the international community against the apartheid system. Nagwanga was one of the most musical minds behind the Cry Freedom soundtrack and had a career that spent for more than 40 years. He was known for using his music to convey the struggles in South Africa during apartheid. Born in Soweto, Johannesburg in 1937, Gwangwa rose to fame playing trombone for a bebop band called the Jazz Epistles. By the 1960s, Gwangwa had reached international fame and was amongst a number of South African artists who performed at the Sun of Africa concert at Carnage Hall in New York in 1965. He was a vocal opponent of South Africans' brutal apartheid and used his music to reflect the suffering of his homeland. Gwango went on to embrace a new career as a film composer, working on the soundtrack to 1987 movie Cry Freedom. The Oscar-nominated picture was directed by the late Richard Adam. Attenborough and starred Denzel Washington as South African anti-apartheid activist Steve Biko. I will be updating you guys more on this story but in the meantime don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what you think about the passing of the legendary Jonas Gwanga. Um, it is incredibly sad and I just want to know what you think and do like this video and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my